In this example, we are required to calculate the 95% confidence interval for some count data and we've got multiple observations. So a typical experiment would be, for example, we have, let's say, seven petri dishes or agar plates and we plate some bacteria on them and we count the total number of uh, the colonies. We find we've got 119 bacterial colonies on these seven petri dishes together. And we want to know what is the 95% confidence interval for the number of colonies per plate. So what's the average number of colonies per plate that we would assume or would we observe when we did this experiment a lot and a lot of times. So what we can do is we can calculate the confidence interval of these 119 bacterial total counts and then we can take the average per petri dish. And in order to find the lower and the upper bound of the confidence interval we can use these Excel equations here so uh, all we really need for these equations are the alpha, the significance value and the observed values here. Uh, so for the alpha, the significance value, we can use the equation 1 minus confidence interval. So here in this case we want a 95% confidence interval, so the alpha would be 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05 or 5% for the alpha. Now let's calculate the total uh, number, the confidence for the total number. So we start with chi-square inf and as we type we see that Excel comes up with some suggestions. So what we want is this one here, chi-square.inf.writetail and now we need to put in this first argument 1 minus alpha half 1 minus 0 0.05 divided by 2. So that's the first one here. And then comma 2 times our observed value. And this is the 119. Close the bracket and divide by 2. And that should give us the confidence interval for 119 for total amount of bacteria. So roughly 99 colonies on average for 7. And we can do that now for the uh, upper limit. Again we start with chi-square uh, inf right tailed. Uh, the equation is slightly different here. So we have 0 0.05 divided by 2. So that's the first part, comma, 2 times, and we've got 119 plus 1. We need to close that bracket and we need to close the full bracket divided by 2. Okay, and that gives us 142.4. Now this is the confidence interval for the total number of colonies, but we've got them distributed over seven petri dishes. So in order to find the uh, count, the confidence bound for a single dish, all we need to do is we take this value and divide it by seven. So equals this value, what we just calculated, divided by seven. And we do that for this uh, value here as well, equals this value again divided by 7 because we've got 7 petri dishes. So we've got between 14 and 20 um, colonies per petri dish when we do an example like that. Now, it's a little bit complicated to calculate that in Excel. So there is a really nice 
online calculator and I'll put the link in the description down here where we can calculate this confidence interval. So here we've got 119 colonies and they were distributed over seven plates. Obviously the calculator has a slightly different format, but uh, that should be all right. And we get 14.1 to 20.3 colonies. That is the confidence interval per, um, per plate. And we go back to our, our calculation in Excel. We see that this is uh, pretty much in line. Uh, here we did a little bit of rounding, but the online calculator uh, can be used for this quite nicely, but you can also calculate something like that with these two equations in Excel. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.